thank you very much, Mr. Speaker and members. Good morning to you all. I rise this morning uh, with great honor and great humility to present H.R. 21, jointly authored by John Perez and myself, but on behalf of all of us here in this House. H.R. 21 acknowledges the 10th anniversary of the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, to honor the heroes and the casualties, and to recognize September 11th of each year as a day of remembrance and service. This 10th anniversary resolution serves to recall the uniting of the world's cultures and nationalities in condemnation of terrorism and the great outpouring of charity and compassion that followed in the aftermath of the attacks 10 years ago. The uh, outpouring signifies the victory of the human spirit over depravity, sadgery, savagery, excuse me, and cowardice. As you may remember, members, nearly 3,000 men, women, and children from more than 70 countries around the world were killed at the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. These acts of terrorism caused the destruction of two prominent World Trade Center towers, nearby buildings, a portion of the Pentagon, four airline jets, and the loss of innocent American lives and countless injuries to many others who rushed in to rescue them. After 10 years, Californians continued to join the American public in pouring out their hearts in grief and sympathy for the family and friends of those who perished or suffered or continue to suffer in the aftermath of the attacks. Further, we salute and remember the hundreds of heroic men and women, first responders who sacrificed their lives to help others and to pay tribute to the valiant men and women of the armed forces, their families, those who have fallen, those who have been wounded and returned to our shores today, and those who continue to defend the freedom of America and those around the world. The memory of the 9-11 tragedy serves as a reminder that the United States is a nation of healing, hope, and resilience, and that out of many, we are one. And with that, I respectfully ask for your I vote on H.R. 21.